Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. And the roles can definitely be reversed because this is a general reading. Alright, Libra, let's see what is going on with you. Second half of August, what is the overall energy? All right, we have soulmate. Okay, so this is definitely a deep connection um, with somebody that you are dealing with. So if you don't feel like it is, if it feels more flingy or just more superficial, then this reading is probably not your reading. And I feel like this is also about um, somebody here in this connection really beginning to feel that the other person is a deeper connection than what they may have initially thought or just really beginning to think about <clears throat> what this soulmate connection means, taking it more seriously. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of August. Alright, so in your energy, oh, we have Justice. Wow, okay. The Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. Alright, wow, Libra, I feel like you're really standing strong in your power. You are moving on your path in a way that is completely in alignment with yourself and this <clears throat> it could even be some major decisions that you've made recently or are in the process of making and i feel like this is really leading you towards having wishes fulfilled um, it's leading you towards abundance happiness feeling a sense of satisfaction and also feeling like you are accomplishing your goals <clears throat> let's see for them, we have the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so for a person here that is connected to you, um, they're going through or they've been going through some pain. This person has been going through some kind of an ending, and I feel like although it has been very painful for them or this journey has been very painful for them, they're in the process of healing that now. So I feel like the worst part of it is actually beginning to subside or beginning to be in the past and now this person is beginning to focus on pretty much bringing putting their life back together or focusing on work or focusing on their mission focusing on whatever is needed of them in order to come back to a state of equilibrium basically um, let's see the message for you here we have the hermit the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Alright, so Virgo showing up here. Um, I do see a little bit of isolation in a sense. A lot of deep thinking. A lot of deep thinking on somebody's part. And I feel like maybe this is something that is necessary in order for the both of you to get to where it is that you need to be, which I do see that even though there might still be some some challenges, I'm trying to really um, manage a whole variety of things that are being thrown at you. It's, it's this going within and possibly, you know, keeping a little bit of distance from outside influences, which is actually leading to this Ace of Wands. Um, either a new beginning, um, something very passionate, something re-sparking from the past, Whatever that could be, it could even be something new for some of you. All right, so let's clarify and see what is going on here. Libra. All right, so let's clarify justice. Well, we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, and 
the Five of Wands. Alright, so whatever this decision is that you have made or are in the process of making, I do feel that, you know, you are possibly up against um, some resistance, okay, by other people, possibly by this person or by just other people in general. I feel like there is this part of you that is feeling um, some kind of a nostalgia for something from the past. But I feel like, you know, you you are st still just so standing strong in whatever decision you are making and moving in the direction that you feel is right for you that you are able to overcome whatever, whatever challenge has been being thrown at you. So even though there is a little bit of, of resistance that you are met by in whatever path it is that you are taking, and for some of you, this could even be, you know, um, having to release something from the past, for example. That could be what is challenging you as well. That could be the um, outside um, influence here. But I feel like you're still, you still have this passion to really follow through with what it is that you are deciding because you want to be fair to your own self, basically. And you want what, what is right for you. So let's see the King of Wands. Oh wow, three major arcana cards here. The Star, Strength, and the High Priestess. You are accomplishing basically everything that you have set your intentions to. So I don't know if you realize this or not, but things are really um, coming together for you. I mean, especially following this Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. This is, this is amazing. Like you are in touch with your intuition. You are in touch with your higher self. You are, again, standing strong here. We do have Leo and Aquarius showing up. So some of you might have that in your, in your charts, or maybe that's one of the signs that you're dealing with or the other person. But it doesn't matter. You are moving towards. I feel like you're feeling guided. You're you're feeling the support from the universe here. And if you're not feeling it, know that it is there and it is giving you strength to really move forward towards whatever goal it is that you have set for yourself. And for each of you, it might be different. Yes, there definitely is a soulmate connection here. All right. And I, like I said, I do feel that even with the six of cups, I feel like, you know, this is something that, you know, is a very strong bond. Um, there is nostalgia for this. You still have passion for that, but maybe you were met with resistance either by other people or by this person, okay? It's going to be different. It doesn't matter. You are moving forward towards really accomplishing your own personal goals. And if that is moving you towards this, well then, well then great. Point is, you're going after what it is that you want and what it is that makes you happy. And you are getting stronger and stronger by the day. And I feel like, you know, for you, really, it's all about continuing, all right? That's why we have the Hermit here. Continuing to be in touch with that um, universal guidance or the guidance that you're getting from your inner self. So things are seeming like very beautiful for you. Let's see what's going on with this um, person here. Let's see what kind of swords. All right, we have the moon, the lovers, and the world. Okay, wow. So three major arcana cards for them um, as well here. All right, there's a situation here for this person um, where they're feeling an ending. There's a conclusion. And I do feel like it was related to love. So maybe it's you, maybe it's another, it's another connection. It really depends. Whatever this was, this was something that, where there were a lot of things I feel that were hidden that just weren't either being expressed or they were being, there were some repressed um, issues here. 
whatever that is, whatever it is that was being hidden or whatever it is that may have been um, a little bit on the darker side, possibly even a situation where there was some distortion concerning a love situation, that is what is being ended here. I feel like this ending has kind of like already happened to be honest with you, because we have the Four of Swords, which is talking about healing. So maybe this ending um, has already happened on an energetic level, but maybe physically, you know, it's still kind of there. I don't know if it's 100% resolved, um, because I do still see this person going through that emotional process of dealing with this ending. That's still here. They're still healing this. Let's see the Four of Swords. The Nine of Wands, the Three of Swords, yeah, and the Devil. Yeah, okay, so definitely there's a situation here that is that has been toxic. Um, this person is still processing the ending of that or the resolution, the conclusion of that and it is something that uh, like I said they're still healing this they're still healing this there are still some obstacles um, for this person to overcome so I don't know I mean some of you might be cross watching so maybe this is referring to you if you're watching for a Libra or maybe this is referring to somebody else in the Libra's life okay take it as it resonates if it resonates um, but yeah that's what I'm seeing here there's still a way to go they still have some challenges to overcome they are healing though, they are doing it, it's just that there's still a level of toxicity or of unhealthiness still surrounding this person. But like I said, they are healing this and they are putting in a lot of effort to heal this and to resolve this because the ending has already happened of whatever that is, of whatever, whatever the distortions or whatever the illusions were, that's how it's coming in. These were illusions. Um, something that was repressed, something that was just not being seen clearly in this connection. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and... The Queen of Cups, okay, good. So yeah, you know, there is that anxiety, there is the stress, but this is what this person is working towards, and this is what is changing, all right? That stress, that anxiety, that pain that this person is going through, um, like I said, they're healing it. The, the wheel is about to turn, and that's because they're putting in this effort and moving more towards love and towards following their own intuition as well. All right, so let's see the message here for you. Let me clarify the hermit. Who justice? I'm telling you, this is something that is needed here, all right? Some, possibly some time alone, either for this person or even for you. All right, this is this hermit energy, this um, possibly being withdrawn. It's, it's helping because somebody is really going deep and really putting things into perspective. Like I said, figuring out, you know, what is this soulmate connection? Where is it that my heart is leading me towards? What is this? And really beginning to um, grasp that, that whole concept and the feelings associated with this and what it is that needs to change here what it is that needs to be left in the past. So if, if, this is a, if you're dealing with a person that you feel is your soulmate and you want to be with this person, but you're currently in a separation or you're currently at some distance, know that that, that distance is actually the right path for now. It's actually what is needed in order to bring things into balance. See the two of pentacles. The four of cups. 
Yeah, so this is all about really being able to bring into balance what is no longer serving. What is it that, you know, what is it that your heart just doesn't want? What is it that you are just, um, you're feeling indifferent to it, it just does not call to you, all right? An offer that is there, but it's not, it's not making somebody happy. I feel like this is actually an energy of settling. Somebody has been settling or was settling. Maybe it was you, maybe it was them. But it's all about that coming into balance and figuring out how to manage different things in your life so that it doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't have to be settling. You don't have to settle for anything. Things can be managed. Let's see the Ace of Wands because I feel like all of this is really leading to a passionate new start here. Two of Pentacles showing up again. So yeah, this is, and I love um, how in this particular deck, the Two of Pentacles is so much more harmonious than in the first one. Um, here you can see the sea, which is the ocean is just kind of, um, what's the word? <laughs> oh my gosh, my English. Um, <laughs> it's stormy, right? There are waves. It feels a little bit shaky, a little bit rocky, even the weather, the clouds. There's some darkness here. Not sure whether somebody can handle something, right? Um, especially if they've been settling for something that was not making them happy. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be another relationship. It can just be, you know, something within their own self that was holding them back. Um, and here it's moving towards bringing all of those energies into a state of balance, knowing that, you know what, these things can be managed. Things can be put into place. I do feel like this has to do with your person with that Eight of Pentacles really focusing on putting in that effort in order to make that shift following their intuition. And that is leading to this to a new start here. And I feel like it's the same for you. You know, really being able to just balance whatever the universe has been throwing at you. And you've been doing that, right? You have strength here. You've been following your guidance and I feel like that has led you to a place of feeling like you are accomplishing whatever it is that you wanted to. Libra, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Could be for you. I mostly feel like it's for the other person, but definitely could be for you as well. And I feel like that has to do with your commitment to your own goals at the moment. So yeah, you might be met by some resistance from the outside, but this is just a challenge for you that you are meant to overcome. Your commitment is just being tested. And again, <clears throat> also true for your, for your person here. So Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.